There is this players whose mere presence on the field sent shivers down the spines of opponents. They were the enforcers, the guardians of their territory, delivering bone-jarring hits that resonated through the game, and left an everlasting impression on those who dared to challenge them. In this video, I will talk about the 10 hardest hitters in NFL history. Number 10. Dick Night Train Lane Lane earned his nickname Night Train due to his night shift work as a railroad employee in his early years of football. Despite starting his NFL career relatively late at the age of 25, throughout his career, Lane was known for his ability to anticipate passes and his knack for intercepting them. He set a single-season record with 14 interceptions his rookie year, but he was also known for his physicality and his hard-hitting style of play. He left a trail of batter opponents in his wake with his physicality and ball hawking skills, his hard-hitting style of knack for delivering bone-jarring tackles. See many of his plays as one of the hardest hitters in NFL history. Number 9. John Lynch Lynch spent the majority of his career with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, where he played from 1993 to 2003. During his time with the Buccaneers, he was an integral part of one of the most dominant defenses in NFL history, helping lead the team to a Super Bowl victory. Throughout his career, Lynch earned a reputation as one of the hardest-hitting safeties in the league. His physicality and fearlessness made him a formidable presence in the secondary, striking fear into the hearts of opposing receivers. Lynch's ability to read plays and deliver in bone jarring tackles earned him Pro Bowl honors nine times over his 15-year career. Number 8. Brian Dawkins During his 16-year career in the NFL, primarily spent with the Philadelphia Eagles, Dawkins earned a reputation as one of the most dominant safeties of his era, known as Weapon X. Dawkins possessed a unique blend of speed, power, and instinct that made him a nightmare for opposing offenses. He was equally adept at delivering bone-crushing hits, intercepting passes, and disrupting plays in the backfield. Dawkins possessed a rare knack for making game-changing plays. He accumulated 37 interceptions, 37 forced fumbles, and 26 sacks throughout his career. His ability to create turnovers and to swing momentum in his team's favor was unmatched. Number 7. Steve Atwater If you're a connoisseur of the big hit, you know who Steve Atwater is. The man they called the Smiling Assassin, earned his nickname and then some during his run as one of the best safeties in football in the 1990s. Atwater was an eight-time Pro Bowler, three-time All-Pro, two-time Super Bowl champion, and a member of the 1990s All-Decade team. Atwater was elected to the Hall of Fame in 2020, like nothing more than laying the wood on opposing players. He authored dozens of big hits during this decade of dominance, but none of them shook the NFL world quite like the one he laid on Christian Okoye on a crisp Monday night at Mile High in 1990. Additionally, he played a pivotal role in the Broncos' back-to-back -back Super Bowl victories in 1997 and 1998. Atwater was phenomenal against the run and the pass, but it was coming up to stuff a running back at the line of scrimmage or dropping back into coverage to break up a pass. Number 6. Sean Taylor Taylor was only able to play four years in the league before he was murdered in a home invasion in 2007, but he had a full highlight reel of big hits and two Pro Bowls in that short span. Most guys that play in the Pro Bowl just go to have fun and kick back, but not Sean Taylor. In the 2006 Pro Bowl, the AFC called a fake punt, and Taylor came around and met the punter on the sideline and absolutely obliterated him. The punter was so dazed that he went to hug and congratulate the guy that knocked his block off which was surely the first and last time that happened on the football field. Number 5. Jack Tatum Tatum was as feared as a player as there ever was. Not only was he himself a frightening sight, but the Oakland Raiders were a team that was known to play as physical as the rules would allow. But no Raider was more feared than number 32, the man who was dubbed the Assassin, who was a three-time Pro Bowler, one-time All-Pro, and a Super Bowl champion, showing that he was a lot more than just the Assassin persona the media placed on him. It's not like he didn't earn the nickname, though. His legacy is defined by two moments. The earth-shattering tackle that separated receiver Sammy White from his helmet, which is probably the biggest hit in Super Bowl history, and his 1979 hit on Derek Stingley, which left the wildout paralyzed. Number 4. Ronnie Lott Playing against Ronnie Lott was tough, because if he threw in his direction, one of two things was going to happen. Either he was going to intercept the ball, or he was going to destroy whoever was trying to catch the ball. Ronnie Lott was a key piece in the San Francisco 49ers dynasty of the 1980s, earning 10 Pro Bowls and 8 All-Pros over his 14-year career. The Hall of Fame was definitely a ball hawk, snagging 63 interceptions over his career, good for 8th on the all-time list. 
but it was just as well known for its toughness. Locke was so tough, in fact, that when his pinky finger was crushed during the 1985 season, he chose to have part of it amputated rather than to undergo surgery that would have forced him to miss games. Now that is a scary dude. Number 3. Ray Lewis Ray Lewis is terrifying, both physically and psychologically. There was no one meaner or more intimidating than Ray Lewis. On three separate occasions, he led the NFL in tackles. Lewis was a 12-time Pro Bowl selection, a 7-time All-Pro. Lewis' hard-hitting earned him two Defensive Player of the Year awards in 2000 and 2003. Lewis was the leader of the Ravens' 2000 defense, which is widely regarded as one of the greatest defenses of all time. He is a member of the 2000s All-Decade team and was inducted into the Hall of Fame of 2018. Number 2. Lawrence Taylor who was the greatest defensive player to ever set foot on the NFL field, and he made sure opposing players knew that. Taylor made his elite presence known from day one in the NFL. He was named NFL Defensive Rookie of the Year in 1981. Taylor was also named NFL Defensive Player of the Year that season, and no one has won both awards in the same year ever since. Taylor dominated the 1980s and solidified himself as one of the greatest players in NFL history. While lighting up ball carriers, the hitting quarterbacks in a day and age where you can still hit quarterbacks. He redefined the linebacker position with this unparalleled combination of speed, strength, and aggression. A force on nature on the field, Taylor possessed an ability to disrupt plays and delivering bone-crushing hits that left opponents battered and bruised. His legacy is one of the hardest hitters in NFL history. It's etched into the memories of fans and foes alike. Number 1. Dick Buckus You might think the name is a laugh, well, you wouldn't dare laugh at Dick Buckus' name in front of Dick Buckus. He was, and still is, toughness personified. He was the guy in the middle of the Chicago Bears defense that no one wanted to cross paths with from 1965 to 1973. In the days of frightful middle linebackers like Jack Lambert and Chuck Benary, it was Buckus who struck the most fear in the hearts of his opponents. He played the game with a chip on his shoulder, and he let his opponents know about it as often as he could. In his eight full seasons roaming the gridiron, he was named to eight Pro Bowls and eight All Pros, while also taking home back to back Defensive Player of the Year awards. The Hall of Fame is also one of a very small number of players to be selected to two All Decade teams.